Alright, so Serene, Serene leveled up in the last run, so I think, logically, we're just going to want to keep incre increasing his abilities here. So, finish him. Now with 5 more accuracy, 1 more crit, and 10% more, da more damage against uh, stunned people, absolutely. And Flashbang gets an additional 10% stun chance, 5% hit, absolutely. Those two skills are like what I do on this character, so conti continuing to upgrade those is not a... It's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, Lucas got a little high on stress. He's one of those people I send to the tavern a lot. Does he drink still? He does. Okay. He can go ahead and enjoy a drink. Because now that, now that he's in the uh, level 3 club, I'm more likely to actually use him. So I'm going to want to reduce his stress if I can. And... Eh, uh, I don't want Main G to be stressed. But do I want to spend a, do I, do I want to spend that much money on that kind of thing? Probably not. What I should do is I should, I should think about who I want to send to the sanitarium. Because someone that I'm not taking on my mission is probably going to be a problem. My plan is to go into the ruins and level it up again so we can fight the second tier necromancer boss. And my current plan of a, of a party is I want to bring boss monster, uh, Captain Kerbal, Serene Eclipse, and uh, Ballad Boxer. The main reason I'm bringing boss monster and Ballad Boxer is because they're going to be, that'll, that'll make them level up most likely, if I'm correct. Or maybe they'll be just one off from leveling up, which would, which would be a bummer. Uh, but if they do level up, then that'll mean that, uh, if, the, if they level up, that means that when we go fight the Necromancer boss, we'll have three level fours in the party, which means our boss monster and ballot boxer, among other things, could have higher level equipment and higher level skills, assuming I have things upgraded in a way that allows me to do so. I'm gonna take a quick run through the level three characters and just see if anyone has a negative, anyone that I'm not taking on the run has a negative trait that I want to benefit, I want to upgrade right now. I mean, I want to get rid of... All right, here's something I'm not a big fan of. Main G has a trait. Where is it? Off guard? Yeah. First round, reduced speed and dodge. I don't like the idea of uh, having a weakness at the beginning of the fight. Knackle also has a trait that makes him... Which one is it? Uh, it's a light... Yeah, there we go. Whenever we have high light, he's slower. I don't like that, of course, because I am a big fan of keeping the light conditions pretty high. So him being a sh kind of shittier as a result is not something I'm a fan of. So we'll take care of both of those. That blew a little bit of money. By the way, took a look at the uh, Nomad Wagon. There's definitely more items here, and they're interesting. Like this uh, camper's helmet, Bounty Hunter. Bonus stress heal in camp, but lower scouting chance. The kind of stuff that I don't know if I'd grab it because it's not combat related. Uh, this one's interesting in particular. Bonus damage against unholy, but reduced damage when, when the enemy's not unholy. In particular, this could be really good for... Uh, this could be a good item for making... What am I trying to say? This could, this could be good for getting bonus damage against, say, the Necromancer But Yeah, let's, let's grab it for that specific reason, actually. Gonna grab that real quick. We were very broke now, so I'm gonna not buy anything else right now. But having that ring when we try to go after the Necromancer boss could actually be helpful for making a, one of our characters more powerful. Be it, uh... It'd probably be one of our Crusaders, because they also have damage bonus against Unholy. Ideally... I'll probably try to bring both, assuming I don't, assuming I don't screw up and get them uh, into some kind of panic mode. I'd like to take ballot, uh, both Boss Monster and Lord Verd into the uh, into the Necromancer boss, because so they, they have bonus damage against Unholy, and I'd give one of them that item to give them even more damage against Unholy, I think, and that could help us with that boss in general and get them down very quickly, because uh, that's the guy that keeps he keeps summoning more and more undead as the fight goes on, so he's kind of dangerous in that way. So we're going to do Kerbal in front, Boss Monster second, because Boss Monster has that Lance ability he can't use when he's in the front. Serene is along for the ride, which I'm happy to see, because when I when I first decided to leave some characters behind and not level everyone up to three, I was kind of I was kind of sad that that character was there, because he had a, he had that cool uh, attack anyone from any while standing anywhere at any time, and bonus damage against stun when they're stunned. That's just a really nice attack. Uh, I think everyone is, has items that I'm more or less happy with. Oh, Kerbal's missing an item. Let's just give her a damage item, because we have one... We have one sitting around in here. Where is it? Bonus da- oh yeah, bonus damage, bonus crit, minus accuracy. There you go. There's that item that we just fought to get all that time that I apparently immediately forgot about and almost forgot to grab it at all. Caution Cloak, minus- that's so much speed loss in the first round just for some scouting chance. Anyway... Let's get this, uh, this medium. Oh, we're doing the Relics of Light again. Okay. Let's get this on the roll. We need to make some money back. And hopefully after this, we'll be, it'll be high enough level for us to go do the actual next, uh, boss. We'll see how it goes. 
don't think anyone in this party has issues with eating too much food, so I think we'll be fine from that perspective. Uh, can I afford what I want? Two shovels and a key? We good? Yeah, we still yeah, we still had money for it. Alright. Let's get this party on the road. I'm sure nothing will go horribly wrong. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. There's power in symbols. Alright, so if I want to, I can go up and down and have to immediately backtrack. Uh, let's just do it. Let's just be thorough about this. Hey, a bag. Those are usually good. And hey, it's one of those cabinets that often has a, uh, let's see, Bounty Hunter has high trap resist. Yeah, 60%. So we might get a holy symbol right here, or we might get trapped. We'll find out. Hey, holy relic, just like that. That's one down. We're off to a good start in this medium length mission. All right. We're fighting three undead. We were apparent. Wow, we got surprised even though we were in a really good situation. This unfortunately puts me with a ballot boxer in the front, which is not where I want him to be. He does bonus damage against undead, but yeah. Let's try to move backwards so the Hellions prepped to do a lot of damage right off the bat. And I might be able to one shot these guys with uh, my badass uh, hunter. Yep. Decimated. I'm pretty happy with the, bunny, the bounty hunter right now. Oh, they're still going to try to attack my healer. Not ideal. I know I know how to I know how to take my revenge though. Like comically high damage. Although I'm no, I'm definitely feeling the reduced accuracy. I might want to might want to give it a rest at some point because I can I can benefit from a. What do I want to do here? To, all I can do is do a stress heal. Why not? Here you go. Be inspired to get less stressed. This fight will probably end in a moment here anyway, like this. Why see? Serene Clips, why you always gotta prove me wrong when I say stuff like that? I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to do what's right for everybody here. And down. As the fiend falls. Alright, let's fix this dumb party awesome. composition that, that has happened. Relatively low effect of a surprise. I mean, they specifically put my most vulnerable character in the front, which is not... basically the worst case scenario, but it's, it's, un it's unusual to have the entire party not get shuffled at all. Oops. I, f I let my thing run low. We're fine though, okay? Quick torch. As the light gains purchase, we scouted a bit. Spirits are lifted. Bounty hunter opens this. Is it going to be another? Clear. Wow. Okay. That's holy relic number two. Get one more of those, and this mission's already over. At that point, it's just a question of whether or not I want to keep going on my expedition for the purposes of uh. Says there's, says there's a trap over here. Oh shit! There it is. So that that was definitely an invisible trap. No one took damage though, so we're fine. So yeah, I've only explored the one room so far, and I already have two of my three relics for this medium-length mission that has a quite lengthy area in it. Ideally, I would keep exploring, even if I find three relics. That'd probably just be an excuse to stop opening, uh... That'll just be an excuse to stop opening cabinets that might hurt me. But, uh... The good thing about finding the relics early, if I do find all three, is that I could, that means I can just leave whenever things get bad. Uh, and I, if, if things get worse, I can just leave immediately. Because I will have already completed my mission. But I'll definitely want to be thorough regardless because I want to make money back and you can get a lot of goods here. I'll be, I'll be more likely to leave a mission super early later in the game when I, if I hit a point where... Uh, oh, it's already been looted. If I hit a point where uh, I have so much money that I don't care anymore, which might happen. I see a battle coming up and we just in dropped Radiance, below 75, so we'll fix victory. that. Two gargoyles, 14 hit points. They're really fast, right? So I want to try to kill one as fast as possible. My chance of killing him is not not the best. So I think I might, I might want to go for the stun just to stop him from having his turn. His stun resist is 30. My stun chance is 155, so it's guaranteed stun, but only to, uh, but he might not get hit, which he did. Well, that's exactly what I figured might happen. I probably need to do better math about the dodge chance. Is the mistake I'm making here? But yeah, I, should, I probably should just hit that guy. Such a terrible oh, wow. AoE crit. Unanswered. That's not good for morale one bit. Alright. We'll single, we'll single target heal our Crusader that's been hurt. And we're going to lay on the damage here. Their bleed resistance is really high, but the damage still seems worth it. Yep, especially when it crits and does 45. That's uh, more than three times the, that the enemy's, enemy's hit points. So that's neat. And another miss. I mean, another dodge. That is a problem, is their, their dodge chance is really high. They don't seem to be particularly high damage opponents, though. Press this advantage. That's probably what I should have done the first time, is just, just hit him with an axe. 
It's the secret all along. Getting more gemstones for money. So we're going to be good here. We may have already made back the money I spent on the supplies, actually. But we'll just keep going. Look at all these things that could have stuff in them. Awesome. Damn it, the crests. Stop it. <laughs> Stop giving me the, the least useful thing. Okay, so we're, I can single target somebody if I want. These guys don't have very many hit points, so they'll probably die in one hit. And I've failed. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, should I, I should group heal at this point. Everyone's taking chip damage. And whose turn is it? We could do breakthrough, we'd kill the back guy. And do a lot of damage to the front guys, probably. Let's do it. Oh, the hit chance is bad, though. What about the Yop? Yop would stun the front guy so they could get one shot in a moment here. Or I could just take this guy out. Yeah, let's just mono 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 just, just start wailing on people. Confidence Jesus, that crit chance is just crumbles. misleading today. Everyone's getting obliterated. And I'm okay with that. And I'm not okay with that. And I'm totally okay with that. Uh, Alright, Holy Lance should take this guy out. Success. So they're down to one full health guy and one guy that has like a, a hit point? Yeah. Even the Vestral can kill that guy. And probably will. What are they going for here? Just just, just attacks? Alright, have fun. Oh shit, he didn't die. Okay. Taking a little longer than I expected to because people are just hanging in there. Finish him off and our Vestral is probably going to kill the last guy. Is that, is that what's going to happen here? I think the Vestral has a bad hit chance, though, so that's not ideal. Oh, cool. It's Kerbal's turn. What's the best hit chance? Because anything that has a good hit chance is the thing to go with. Best hit chance is the stun, which does damage, right? Oh, damage mod minus 100. Okay, that's not ideal, then. I do need to hurt the person to kill them. If just everyone attacks them, someone's got to land, land a blow, right? All right, Vestral got the killing blow. This expedition at least promises success. We don't see a lot of that happening around here. Okay, so our, our inventory is filling up. Might want to camp soon just to uh, get some buffs out of the way and also free up some inventory space. Oh, Bone Commander. He looks spooky, scary, dangerous. So what's his stun resistance? It's 60. And my stun chance is... So his, his chance of resisting the stun is 5% after the hit chance, which is not great. I mean, which is really good. So, and these guys both have high... These guys both have really high... Uh, this, yeah, that's not great. They, they both have really high hit points. So none of them are likely to just get killed around the spot, are they? I'm gonna go for a stun. Just to keep... Just to get take one of them out of the fight for a bit. The move was not affected. He did not... He kept... He did not freeze. And I can only holy light the front enemies. A dazzling light, so that's, I'm just gonna want to do a let's do single target heal on our injured bounty hunter. Get him back up to full, probably. No, nope, not quite. And they're oh yeah, they're resolute to reduce to undo my uh, heal I did on that uh, bounty hunter. So I can do breakthrough to hurt the back guy slightly, not worth it. Or I can do bleed it out just to do a lot of damage to this guy, up to a third of his hit points. Still not great. Or I could go for a stun, but he's already stunned, so that's pointless, so... Start wailing on the dude. Alright, maximum roll, and he's bleeding. That... This bone commander that has a 120% chance of resisting bleed is now bleeding. Taking 4 damage per round for the next... He's, taking, he's gonna take 12 bleed damage. A guy made of bones. Is it because of this? Plus 15% bleed chance? Uh, does this have a, What's the chance on this thing? Target, it just says bleed. How, how did that succeed? So this attack has no bonus to bleed chance. His yeah, I'm not sure how that worked out. They have 120 bleed resist, and I only had 115% chance of causing bleed. So you'd think that the resist would make it impossible, but maybe maybe I'm misinterpreting how something works. I'm probably going to want to Holy Lance one of these back guys to try to wipe them the hell out. This one has less hit points and is, less like, is more likely to die. I'll go for it. So, wow, okay. Yeah, that, that gets the job done. I judge thee guilty. It's not it's not polite to judge people, man. All right, that guy was stunned and taking damage every turn, so this is A-OK -okay for me. I might want to just go back to stunning this asshole. His uh, resistance is 80% right now, which means I have a 35% yeah, da, 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 chance of, of not succeeding. Going for it. There we go. 
If we just keep him out of the fight for a while, then we can make this go pretty smoothly. Uh, breakthrough, we'll hit both. Let's go for that, because that, uh, that one-shot Holy Lance I used messed up the party composition, of course, making it so that I can't really... Uh, making it so that I can't really use my bleed ability, which shockingly worked. Spear Thrust. All right, I'm definitely going to want to heal my Hellion next. So the big guy continues to take... Was his stun, his stun resist is probably 100% now, right? Yeah, it's 100%. Uh, that means that something like Stunning Blow won't work, I don't think. Because it, it ha only has 100% chance in the first place. Let's just start wailing on this dude. He'll probably die before he gets a turn, right? And at that point, you just have a dumb little Spearman. And he probably won't amount to much. Alright, <laughs> another crit. The sharpened blade. This game's helping me today. Everything's working out great. Let's just stun this asshole. Stuns for every oh, no stuns for everybody. You you reduced your you, re you reduced your outgoing damage to yell at somebody to no effect. Congratulations, Hellion. Everyone's very wow. Okay, he's dodging everything. He's just getting lucky today. All right, no morale difference and no bl and so n no morale hit and no bleed. So that was just a slight damage. That's like that's just like one quick party heal. Heal this motherfucker. Oh, he's got one hit point left, because of course he does. What's my best chance of hitting him? Probably the Stunning Blow. 68 versus... 60, yeah, Stunning Blow is slightly higher chance of hitting. And it did. It's called As Tactics. Mount, and my inventory is full. So too will uh, I'll just use this torch. There we go. So I was about to use the torch anyway, probably. Sarcophagus, don't trust it. I'm pretty sure those work out poorly for me. So do I camp, or do I continue... Part of me wants to just camp because my... Yeah, let's just camp. My inventory is already filling up. So we might as well just yeah, go for it at this point. Did I overeat? No, I have enough for one more companion. one more chance. So we're going to go for... Yeah, healing everyone's stress is pointless now. So let's go for actual stat buffs. Uh, you're going to do your battle your battle trance to do bonus damage against large enemies. Because we've already, we've already started to encounter those, so it's probably going to be a thing. No one really needs wound care. Less likely to be surprised might be a thing to do. Bonus accuracy, bonus crit. Probably good for our Hellion. Might want to do that. Uh, bonus accuracy, bonus dodge. These are both good things. Let's do it on our Hellion. Our Hellion has shitty accuracy right now, but we can help them with that. So how much time do we have left now? Uh, we have five respite left. Might do uh, less likely to be surprised effect or stress resistance. Uh, stress resist is not a bad idea because it'll uh, it'll keep the party healthy for next round. I could do the AOE stress reduction to help. Basically, yeah, let's just do that. It'll oh, not very effective. I figured I would just try to heal the party. I never know who's religious or who's not. It's not super clear to me. Oh, then anyway, one more spite. I don't, I don't think I don't think you can use one. No, so that that's it. So we are we have bonus we have a 30 accuracy bonus on our Hellion who has the worst chance of hitting, so that means all around this is a pretty strong party now. Hopefully we won't have to uh hopefully we'll only get hungry once in this mission. Because otherwise, we'll uh we're gonna starve, and that's not good for the morale. And I don't want anything bad to happen to our morale. So I want I want most of these I want some of these people to be available for fighting the necromancer in the next mission. Assuming it fills up the way I think it will. Uh, party heal, because I can't single target heal. And we have one hurt person. Let's just deal with this dude. Oh, come on, man. It's just a spider. They're not dangerous or anything. Oh, no. Oh, right. We don't want to light that torch, because we don't want to have do deal with the uh, morale problems. I always forget that you can use breakthrough from any position. It's super strange to me that you can melee from any position with that character in particular. But I guess the back two people were both uh, the types of uh, melee characters that can attack from anywhere. There we go. Oh, I missed. I messed that up. The path is clear. The uh, the uh, Crusader and Bounty Hunter look surprisingly different. I mean, surprisingly similar from a color perspective and stuff like that. So I actually kind of mixed them up. I'm gonna avoid the detour that involves backtracking and just go forward instead. I just need one relic and then we're done. And Even I might I might immediately back out. Our inventory is getting pretty full with valuables. So at this point I have to throw stuff away to even pick up more things. 
And uh, I'd rather not stress people out, because I'm going to need them in good condition for the next fight. So, it, wow, this might be it. This could have the relic in it. It has the holy relic in it. Just like that. And I'm out of- and I'm- see, I don't even- I don't even have the inventory space for the relic itself. Uh, get rid of the bandages, I guess? Did we scout the area just now? We did scout- oh, and there's treasure. Okay, I'll stick around for one more room, because we do have a key, and that's a treasure room. So we might as well check that out before we leave, because I want treasure, man. It's like, valuables and shit, they're good for you. Bounty hunter's already selected for this trap. Here we go. Successful. You burn a torch really quick as we enter the room. And if we get anything cool from the treasure chest, I'll just throw away the torch for it. So th here's our, our last fight. This is where things could- the last place where things could still go wrong. When- as far as me trying to conserve, uh... Me trying to conserve the party's, uh, morale. Quick hit on this guy. I mean, he took out the one undead, because he had the fewest hit points, so I just targeted him first. Now we just need to get through here safely. Even- I'm not even really concerned about damage, I just don't want them to- any morale problems, so... Uh, anyone who can is going to target the cultist, because I think they- that's the character that has the most anti-morale abilities. Could one-shot this person if I'm lucky. And I was. Another goddamn crit. I know it's a high crit chance, but... A high crit chance is still like a 1 in 5. Like, not... It's still not- not guaranteed the way that it certainly feels like it is sometimes, because it, it, it seems to crit every single time. I want to take- I want to take out their, uh, cultist as fast as possible. They just tried to pull this round, which is good, but in the future she might try to do nastier stuff. Go for the stun. Dodged. Alright, that's a waste of a turn. I probably should have given one of those accuracy buffs to, uh... Should have probably- probably given one of the accuracy buffs to the Crusader, because the Crusader has a shitty accuracy too. I got too focused on the Hellion. It's fine though, we're about to be done here. Just gotta hit wail on a few dudes and hope they don't cast a, a uh, demoralizing attack. Uh, this might kill, but also might stun. Or get dodged twice in a row. That's also cool. That's my favorite. Uh, single target heal our crusader to keep them healthy. We're really topped off and doing fine right now. Alright, this person will probably die of bleed, right? Yeah, that person's dead from bleed the moment their next turn happens, so just finish off the cultist. Alright, this fight's over. Either we kill him, or he kills him. But these are both valid options. Looks like we kill him. <laughs> the one time boss monster landed a blow was the time it didn't matter. Just here to remind us that he's here. So what do we get here? More jewels! Alright. Don't have inventory space for these. But I don't need the shovel anymore, so I'll get rid of that. Now, I, now we have the crests. And I can get rid of these torches, because we're about to leave. So, th so, so we have, there's our crests and our money. Let's just get out of here. Quest complete. Tokens of hope. Recovered from the encroaching dark. Alright, that was a quickie, but it served my purposes. We got... Wow, okay. We got, uh... 15,500 gold about. Uh... We got six bus, 22 crests, and six deeds. All around a good improvement. Hopefully, the ruins will level up. So Boss Monster and, and Ballot Boxer are level 4, so that some of that money is going to go directly into upgrading their skills now. Hopefully they don't get a, a really bad negative trait here. Quick draw. Bonus speed in first round for, for Boss Monster. I'm okay with that. Could, that, mean, that means an opening with, with a Holy Lance, potentially. Stress resist just in general for Ballot Boxer. That might be one of the best buffs you can get, is just a general stress resistance, just for, in all conditions. 20% uh, stress resist in Warrens for Serene. Okay. Specialization, Hatred of Mankind. Captain Kerbal has damage bonus against humans, and stress resistance against, against humans. We got exclusively positive traits here, and six resolve experience, which is more than I need to level up. We're, all, we're so close to Kerbal leveling up too, but not quite. That'll happen soon. But the good news is I have three level fours for our next uh, boss fight. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it well, well, those characters were leveling up. Uh, Main G no longer has off guard. Nacklesen and Nackle no longer has uh, Nocturnal. And Lucas recovered stress. Everything went as planned there. What level is it? There we go, level three. So there we have, that's our boss fight. Kill one Necromancer. Uh, gives us five busts, six crests, over 10,000 gold. And most importantly, kills another boss. That will once we get that down, we'll have 
Five down, four to go, I believe. Yeah, because there's nine total right now until they add the Cove and Darkest Dungeon. At which point there will be 15 bosses, I assume? I assume it'll have the same boss structure. There's no way of knowing. I'm also currently assuming that the Cove is going to be the same level range as the three that we already have, but that could also not be true. The Cove might be a higher level dungeon. In fact, that'd be the most elegant way to add a new dungeon is to make it a higher level one, because right now, uh, if you overlevel your party, you could be in trouble when they add more content to the game. And yeah, be being called Darkest Dungeon just makes me assume that that's going to be the end game dungeon that's meant for level 6 characters. Because the, uh, I say level 6, because this thing says, your quest goals, kill all these dudes. And then down here, it's like, get these guys to level 6, every single class. I'm like, oh, okay. So like, that makes me assume that you can hit level 6. I, that not only can you hit level 6, but the Darkest Dungeon is probably meant for that specific purpose. So we, d we successfully got through that without increasing anyone's stress by any significant quantity. So we're good on that front. So now it's all about putting together a party and upgrading people for that Necromancer mission, which we're going to do next time. So thanks for watching, guys, like always. And I'll see you then. We're going to go fight the Necromancer. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just bring two Crusaders. And... Someone else... I'm not sure. Either Serene or Kerbal probably will be the other damager, and then Ballot Boxer will be our healer. That's, that seems to make sense to me. Or Knackle. Knackle's probably a valid choice, too. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm tempted to bring Serene specifically because of his comically high chance of stunning people. Because it, it, what, what if I could stun... Like, there's a 155% chance of stunning there. And then Kerbal, Kerbal also has a really high chance of stunning though too, One, oh, 125, it's lower. Having a high stun chance could be handy for that final boss, because if we stun the Necromancer, he can't summon. But this is, this is all stuff to talk about next time. I'll see you guys then.